fibroblast, every time I have a phenotype, which is a medium or uh, maybe thick uh, in the upper jaw. Uh, and when I have uh, also thin phenotype, but in, in presence of uh, a good width of keratinized mucosa. And uh, when you don't have keratinized mucosa, you just have alveolar mucosa, then it's not his best indication. It's better to use the connective tissue graft in this case. Until now was available the six millimeter. That's why I was uh, always uh, cutting and uh, say with the, with the knife, with the brand new uh, scalpel. And uh, usually I select the three millimeter. I cut exactly in half. Time to time, especially for implants, when uh, you need a, a little bit more thick, you can modulate. So it's nice to have the six millimeter because you can choose exactly the thickness. I like to go a little bit more smooth in the edges and a little bit more, let's say, fat in, in, in the middle. So there will not be too much pressure near the suturing, but uh, they will good, uh, good, uh, good, there will be a good uh, thickness right in the middle where I need. The three millimeters uh, fiber guide uh, is, uh, will be used especially on natural dentition. And uh, I think uh, this is the, 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 the will be the most uh, largest uh, use. Okay, every time you place implant and you need also to modulate the soft tissue, you have three moments in which you can uh, work. And you can actually do something in each step. Every time you do surgery, actually you can do something to improve the soft tissue. Can be done during the implant insertion, can be done uh, during the reopening, can be done after. So there are different steps in which uh, it's important uh, to, but always put a, an eye on the soft tissue because it's the key. The aesthetic and the margin stability is due to the quality of the soft tissue. We used uh, as a uh, outcome measurements, we used to consider the, uh, the gingival margin and the aesthetics, let's say the root coverage in case of natural teeth and the recession in case of implants. But nowadays uh, we have a 3D uh, technique to evaluate. So often nowadays I scan my cases and so I can evaluate the 3D, the, the dimension and evaluate also aesthetically and not only in terms of uh, coronal growth. Of course, every time you can use a, a matrix rather than to go on the palate, it's better for the patient because it's not nice for the patient to have two wounds in the mouth, makes it difficult to eat, uh, may bleed, uh, uh, and, uh, and it's, it's, it's absolutely not, uh, not nice for the patient. And takes a little bit of time also to uh, harvest, to deepitalize, to prepare, etc. So every time is possible. If we would have something that exactly like the connective tissue from the palate, I think no one will go on the on the palate. So with FibroGuide, I think we we have a significant improvement. The, the tip is uh, one I already mentioned before, some tips for the new users is uh, always bevel at the edges of the matrix. Don't try, because I know everyone want to have super thick tissue. This is a sponge, so it has a memory, and when it gets wet with the blood, it, it blow up a little bit. So don't... Um, be happy with the three millimeters. Don't try to do too much. And uh, also uh, cut when it's dry. And uh, so you can uh, uh, trim your matrix when it's uh, dry. And uh, another tip is that uh, it's dry, but you can make wet your scalpel. You can put a drop of saline solution of the scalpel before to cut, will be a little bit easier and enjoy.